I'm Mr. B and today we're talking misfires. So we have a friend of mine's Chevy Suburban in here. This is a 2008 Chevrolet Suburban with the 5.3 liter V8 engine in it. It has a coil near plug set up. It has spark plugs that are connected by small, short little ignition wires that run to individual coils per cylinder. So uh, we have some misfire codes that have set in this vehicle. I'm gonna go over how we uh, look at these codes. Also, how are the codes set? And then we are going to get into diagnosing and how I approach misfire code diagnostics. So I decided to do this video because I'm teaching this to my students and I thought it was a teachable moment to you guys as well. So we're gonna go in to the classroom and I'm gonna show you how misfires are picked up by the engine, what it takes for a engine to misfire and how we go about fixing. Okay, so the important thing to remember with misfire diagnosis is it's normally something fairly simple, but it can be a little bit complex to fix. So why did I say something simple? I mean, it's only missing normally one out of the four things that require combustion. So with combustion, we need four things. We need, the first thing is air, the second is fuel, spark, and compression. If we are missing one of those things, then we are going to get incomplete combustion that can lead to a misfire. So let's talk about air. Air is just the filtered air that comes into the car through the air filter, but it can also be false air. So what I mean by false air is a vacuum leak. If we have a vacuum leak that is getting past the metering device, either the MAP sensor or the uh, mass airflow meter, then it is not being counted into the air fuel ratio calculation. So uh, intake gaskets leaking, uh, brake boosters going bad causing a vacuum leak, or any of the vacuum lines and hoses that go to an engine can cause a lean condition that can cause a misfire. Now normally these misfires are going to be engine wide, so you'll get the PO30 every cylinder you got. So 301, 2, 3, 4 if you have a 4 cylinder and so on and so forth. So we do see some vacuum leaks causing misfires on single cylinders and that's normally because the intake is leaking right at the intake runner and so it will lean out just that one cylinder. So air is a big thing when it comes to multiple misfires but not normally when it comes to just single misfires. So the second thing that we want to talk about is fuel. So if we're not getting the correct fuel mixing with that air, then we can get a misfire. And a lot of that can be whole engine misfire. So if we have low fuel pressure or the fuel is getting pushed in too high, like maybe we have a messed up fuel pressure regulator, that can cause a rich condition that can cause the improper burning and misfires. So oxygen sensors, mass airflow meters, MAP sensors, things like that, uh, even engine coolant temperature sensors can cause a rich condition that can lead to misfires. We can also have misfires on single cylinders if we have problems with the fuel injectors. So if an injector is hung wide open, it's dousing the combustion chamber with fuel, that can cause single cylinder misfires. Or if the injector is not firing at all, either through, you know, it's not getting the proper power or ground, or the injector itself is clogged up or bad, it can cause single misfires on each cylinder. So that's when you get the PO30 whatever cylinder you have. So if it's a misfire on cylinder two, that would be a PO302. So not really important to remember all these codes. I just kind of go over them just to let you know what can show up in the ECM. The next we have is spark. So spark is a very, very common uh, issue with misfires. And normally we see, especially with these coil on plug or direct ignition cars that we have, we have a lot of problems with the coils or the boots or things like that that can cause single uh, cylinder misfires. So we can also have, like if we have a car with a distributor, if we have a distributor cap that's bad or a rotor that's bad or even a single coil that's, that's having issues or a coil pack on a waste spark car, that can cause multiple cylinder misfires that can show up all across each cylinder. So if you have single cylinder misfires, definitely want to check the coil, the plug wire, the coil boot, or even the spark plug. Spark plugs, of course, can always cause misfires. So you definitely want to look at the maintenance schedule and everything that you're looking at the vehicle. If you're asking the customer or if you yourself have the vehicle and you're just not sure if the car has had a tune-up yet, then definitely you want to go ahead and do the tune-up on that car to make sure that it's up to speed with the maintenance. 
And the last and probably the most complicated one that we have to deal with is compression. So if the compression goes bad, if we have a compression problem with the cylinder, then of course we can't light off the mixture. We have to have that piston coming up and compressing the air fuel mixture and the spark at the right time to light everything off. So a lot of compression problems that we see are either valve sealing issues, so you have a burned intake or exhaust valve. You may end up with some popping or backfiring through the intake or the exhaust manifold. That's a surefire way to tell that you have a valve sealing issue or a valve timing issue. Now valve timing issues are gonna show up all across the board because normally they're timed off the same camshaft or at least on the same bank, right? So uh, compression, if you have two cylinders side by side that are not firing and you have a compression issue, it can be a blown head gasket in between the cylinders or a cracked head in between or a cracked block in between the cylinders. And so the cylinders are sharing compression. And if you have a piston going up and piston going down, basically either of those cylinders are not developing the approximately 90 PSI that it takes to light off the air fuel mixture on a modern vehicle. So definitely if we've gotten to the compression, if we checked the fuel, the air, the spark, everything's good and we're down to compression, we're normally getting into an internal engine repair that's going to be you know, an involved job. So definitely want to make sure that you've crossed out everything and a lot of times compression issues are found by process of elimination. So we've checked and we've, we've you know, replaced or swapped coils, we've replaced the plugs, fuel injectors have good spray patterns and getting the right pulse from the ECM and now all of a sudden we're breaking out our compression gauges and we're checking for loss of compression. So these are things that we just need to keep in our heads when we're taking into account everything that can cause a misfire. And if you have a misfire, it's being caused by one of these things, if not more. So you can have like a bad crankshaft position sensor can cause loss of spark and loss of injector pulse. So you're losing your fuel and your spark. So just keep an open mind when we're looking at these misfires. Uh, there's a lot of things can, that can cause a misfire. So what we're trying to do is just process of eliminate all the things that are easy first, so checking for spark, checking for injector pulse, and then working our way down to the more complex things that may be a little more rare to find. Because we're trying to get this car fixed quickly and back to the customer or back on the road. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the ignition system here in this one, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. The ignition coil is right here. It's mounted on top of the valve cover and it's connected with a spark plug wire right here that goes down to cylinder number one. So this is what we call coil near plug. And when you turn the key on, all these coils that you see here, and there's one for each cylinder, there's four more on the other side, all of those will get power and then they will be grounded by the PCM and the ignition drivers and that's what will spark each one. So I don't have a distributor here. I don't have any timing components outside of the camshaft and crankshaft position sensor that gives the ECM the information that it needs to control the timing, the dwell, or the spark, and all that jazz. So this is the little wire that comes to them. You also have some cars have coil on plug, so they'll go directly on there but this has a heat shield built into it as well. So when you replace these wires, they'll have that heat shield that you'll have to take off the old plug and put on the new ones. So we'll plug this back in. This is just the ignition system. Our injectors are gonna be up here and you'll have one injector per cylinder normally on most cars. If you have a direct injection engine, you won't be able to see the injectors. So. Let's go ahead and crank this up and look at the misfire data and see what we have. Okay, I have this Snap-on Zeus system set up and I'm seeing here my misfire history is 12,766 right here. And on seven, I'm 9853. Okay, now I've got a couple on four. That's probably just cold start misfire right there. Uh, it looks like we're getting more on cylinder one. So it looks like the majority of my problem is on cylinder one and seven, which is going to be on the driver's side. It's going to be on the front and the back of the, the cylinder. 
So we need to look. Looks like we have maybe just two separate cylinders that are acting up. Could be time for a tune-up as well. The customer told me that it's been a while since they've had spark plugs and wires put on, so I may go ahead and recommend spark plug and wires as well. But let's look a little bit deeper at these cylinders and see maybe if we can find a secondary issue. Okay guys, what you're seeing here is the spark plug on cylinder one sticking out of the boot. Hang on here, let me see if I can get this out the way here. So there's a spark plug sitting there. And as you can see, see if I can get it to focus. As you can see, there is oil leaking out of this valve cover gasket and it's running into the spark plug. Now I've kind of already cleaned off the spark plug, but this spark plug was covered in oil. Now this is cylinder one, so if we pull back, I can kind of show you where this is on the car. And so this is coming out of the valve cover gasket. And if you look, this valve cover gasket is leaking at the back corner, which is also giving me my misfire on cylinder seven. So basically what's happening here is the oil is running out of the valve cover and is coming down and it's settling in those heat shields in the spark plug wires. And that is causing the car to misfire. So again, it's not always a replaceable ignition component. It's not always a fuel issue. It can also be outside influence. So what I'm also going to recommend, since we don't have a uh, maintenance interval from this vehicle. We don't know when the last time the, these spark plugs and everything have been changed out. I'm going to go ahead and recommend that we change out the spark plug wires and the spark plugs with good quality OEM components. And then we're going to go ahead and replace the valve cover gaskets on this vehicle. And that should fix our misfire. But also you guys got to remember you have to retest and make sure that the problem is fixed before we go ahead and go on with the next repair. Okay, so that about does it for misfire recognition and diagnostics with Mr. B. If you learned anything, give the video a like, and as always, subscribe to the channel. That helps me out tremendously. And so the next couple of videos I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do an engine diagnostic stuff. So checking your lights, things like that, engine performance issue. That's what I'm teaching right now. So I'm getting a lot of inspiration at some of the stuff that I see coming into the shop. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So as always, subscribe, hit your notification button as well, and you'll get Mr. B right there to your feet. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I always try to answer my questions. And as always, catch me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, VK, look for and like and subscribe on those formats as well. So we'll see you next time and thank you from Mr. B.